I'm going to do a tutorial for you. I got a request by Doug Kilby, who says, he goes, are you able to make some MK tutorials? Thank you very much. I like the Uno and Pogo styles you tend to use. Thank you, Doug, for your request. I rarely ever get requests, but if anybody wants to give me one, whether it be a review or for a trick tutorial for any skill toy, just let me know, leave me a comment. And if I have the time, I'll, I'll try and get to it, and I'll do it. So what you want to learn is how to do the Uno style. I think that's what this is. And I don't know if this is the right ball to show it, but... So this is the kind of Uno style that I do. And okay, the Pongs, or the Pogo style, would be the act of bouncing more like rebounds off the backs of your hands. So I'm going to get into both of those real quick. It's just going to be a real quick tutorial how to do it if you don't know how. So it's going to be simple. Okay, so first off, for uno style, which I guess means, you know, one, uno for one, and you're going to use the control of only one ball in movement, in motion. You'd be holding this one and one of the balls that makes this one free. Now once it's free, you can practice on just doing simple things like controlling the motion of that middle ball. And you're controlling the motion of it. You're making sure that you it's just it's just an act of spinning it this way, spinning it that way, making rotations. And once you start to get better at controlling the ball it makes it more fluid of a motion. Then you can try stopping it. Then you can do like isolated motions. And that gives an illusion of it freezing in a certain spot on the string. It's not sliding across the string. It stays in one particular spot. That's what I'm doing when I do this. And if I'm doing pops, it's just the act of doing this in a vertical way. And to do it vertically, you pull up on the top end of the string, and you keep the bottom pretty much where it is. You don't want to move it. You might want to make the string a little tighter, and that's what gives this effect. So that's the pops, that's for doing that. Now palms will be the same thing, or pogo style. You're holding it the same way, but you're going to do rebounds off the tops of your hands. And that's all it is. You'll feel the snap when it's ready to go to the other side, and that's when you guide the ball through the string as it's traveling and sliding over the string to get to the other side. And that's that's all that is. You can do it horizontal plane in front of you. You can do it above vertical plane. And you can do it reverse. And reverse will just be the same as the top. It's just instead of rebounding on these sides of your hands, you're going to be rebounding on the outsides of your hands. And if you do it fast enough, you can't see it. It'll be more like a like a snap, like a pop. Now you combine these two styles together, and you kind of get the style that I like to play it in. And that's how it looks. Yeah, just keep practicing that. Just keep practicing the motion controlling that ball, getting used to that, and the rest is up to you.